Hello, welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. Before I get started, I'd like to thank TV 47 for allowing us to put on our program and tell you about uh, events in the community and things going on at the library. Today, I'm excited. Teresa Offord has joined me, and thank you, Teresa, for being here. Thank you. Great. You are the Vice President in charge of programming for the Sylacauga Arts Council. Yes. Right. Great. We've been on before. I mean, you've been on before, and we've talked about the same thing, but this is something the Arts Council does every single year, right? Give give grants to schools. Yes, right. we do. Um, they, as far as I know, mm -hmm. they've been doing that about 10 years. We don't, no one knows exactly. But this year, we did award $8,000 in grants to these schools in southern and the southern part of Talladega County. Right. Okay. That's and do um, you want me to go ahead and tell about? Yes, I would love for you to tell okay. about. Okay. Um, the Arts Council donates their money. The money comes from memberships, people right. that join the Arts Council, and we'll talk more about that later. This right. year and last year, we we're very fortunate that Wells Fargo Bank did a matching grant okay. for uh, the uh, grants for the schools and our queen of writing of grant <laughs> writing in the city of Sylacauga Dr. Shirley Spears yes. wrote a grant that covered K through 2 in school so That's any school that had yeah. kindergarten through second grade got an extra four hundred dollars this year right. our now, grant yeah. the grants are five hundred dollars right, yes. yes so some schools got nine hundred dollars for that um, what, what are the grants for exactly? There's anything in the arts. It can be drama, it can be dance, it can be choral, it can be the visual arts like painting yeah. and, or sculpture or sketch photography, mm -hmm. anything like that. Okay, and I always have, have thought it's uh, it's things that the schools could not do without the money. Right, from the it arts was council. something extra that yes. the, the schools could do up yeah. until this year. <laughs> oh, okay, great, okay. So there is $500 for each school. They just have to apply to the right. Arts Council. Right. right, and this year normally we'd, we would say something that enriches, something that you could do that you couldn't do Otherwise, without, the yeah, without the money. But this year we realized that it was not a normal year. That's and right. so we said, please just use it any way you can with an existing program. Oh, good. You know, good. if you That's need right. it to do that. So if you need it to do something for the band or chorus or drama or right. STEAM or music in your right. schools, art, just art classes, things like that. Uh, we also said uh, that you, you're going to get your $500. Right. Just write us how you can use it. And so that's what the teachers did. We tried to make year. it as easy yes, as they we can. Made the it, it's that you don't have to include a budget. We know it's going to be five hundred dollars. Right. Some okay. of them did, but you didn't have to. Okay. And so just please use it in an existing program, or if you can mm. are able to do something virtually, right. do that. Sure. Sure. So that's that's what we did differently. Because this all went on back in the fall, didn't right? It? When, and right. who knew? <laughs> about yeah. COVID, who knew exactly what was going to happen. And so. we're still in about the same place. We're a little better off, Yes, but but uh, we're still in the same place. Okay. What um, what what are the grants that the schools wrote? Oh, okay. The schools. Uh, there were some really, really great ones this year, even, even in the situation. Yeah. Indian Valley uh, Elementary, mm -hmm. they got $900. They purchased already 3,000 robots. Now, I'm oh. anxious to have a chance one day to go yes. in there and see exactly what this did, but this, through this little robot instrument, they, students learn how to design code, mm -hmm. and then the instruments draw the code. Coding is so big, that's yes. great, how fun. Yes, and so anyway, the whole school got to do it because they got yeah. the extra money. Yeah. Pinecrest, you're going to have gonna Jacqueline Rivers tell yes. about that in a few minutes. Nichols Lawson and Silicaga. Silicaga had two people that split the $500 grant. Right. So okay. one was the Coral Department, and Nichols Lawson and the Silicaga Coral Department um, 
had they had choir retreats and choir rehearsals okay. so they hired clinicians to come in and help them mm -hmm. with you know their music that is uh, such a good time to get together yes. before they start maybe before they start school yes. or before they start in to really practice the music yeah, that's, that's right great. also Sylacauga High School's drama department is going to use their money mm -hmm. to help build sets for either their May production or right. they may have used it already I'm not good, sure good. Uh, B.B. Comer Elementary will use theirs as part of their STEAM classes right. uh, they're going to do emotional art activities oh wow and STEAM uh, science technology engineering arts and math right. so I like that it exactly. doesn't include the arts so. Uh, so that's they're going to buy the supplies to do their art within their good, STEAM good. and they become our high school also in their STEAM classes they they gave two options if okay. if COVID uh, regulations allow they're going to have David Whitman come in and yeah. teach some art lessons and have their kids create art. Good. If not, and you will like this as much as I do, oh, okay. they were going to buy art books and related media for the library. Yes, good. That's good. So That's that right. was good. <laughs> Fayetteville School, they were going to do smart reading, smart spelled lowercase s, lowercase m, and then A-R-T capitalized. Okay. And they will uh, do a, it's a program apparently called Smart okay. Reading, and then they were going to uh, order library books that were on related to all careers in the arts. Oh, that's good. And have a special section in the library that's for great. that, and that was for the whole school. Oh, good. The whole good. school. That'll be K through twelve. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Sycamore. You're going to hear some more about that from Chastity Sherum. Uh, Winneboro was going to use theirs in their STEAM classes and they were going to purchase supplies and then have students do art and COVID, if COVID lets them, uh, they're going to have a spring parent night and do oh, some fun. art during that parent night. So that would be great. That's a fun activity. <laughs> uh, Nowood Christian, they will... Um, their Wells Fargo part of the grant mm -hmm. will be used to introduce students in K4 through 2 to the different types of art, watercolor, mosaic, stained mm -hmm. glass. Oh, good. They have a wonderful, wonderful art teacher who is volunteer, mm -hmm. and she does a fabulous wow. job. That's great. And then for the older students, they will use it to purchase art for their art classes that oh, they awesome have every week. Okay. Uh, the Sylacauga Community Playhouse will use their grant to incur some of the uh, expenses they have for Moana Junior, which will be their summer production. Oh, that, and that always involves like children 18 and younger, yes, I think. Yes, yes. That is great. So it's, it's a really, considering our, what teachers have been through, yes. they did an excellent job. They did, they did. That is wonderful. And there's how you can join the Arts Council and help us out. Yes. The membership from the Arts Council uh, goes directly to fund the grants. Right. You can go to the website that you see on your screen. Up at the top, there'll be a bar, and you will click on the word membership on that mm -hmm. bar. A uh, page will open, and you're given two options. You can download the uh, the uh, yeah, application, the application there we go. complete it and mail it with your dues or you can fill out the application online and pay with PayPal. And there are different memberships, a single and an educator is $25, mm -hmm. a couple is 50, families are 100, a sustainer is 500, and a benefactor is a thousand. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say again yeah. that the money from membership goes to the grants. It also yes. goes to the Marble Festival. It yes. goes to the um, dinner theater that we didn't get to have right. this year that right. we will have in the future. Mm -hmm. Also, when you join, there it is. Good. There it goes. That tells you exactly Very what simple. to do. Kathy right. uh, Bozeman has done an excellent job she with the website. Right. Uh, you don't have to attend meetings if you right. join. You just, just. Pay your dues and help out the arts in Sylacauga. Right. So I would encourage and you to join. The more money, yes. the more money we can give to the school. Right. We can That's give, we're, you know, $8,000 this year 
Uh, wow. But it can be more if we have more members. That's amazing. Well, thank you, Teresa. I'm gonna we're gonna close out, and we'll be right back after the commercial break to talk with uh, Chastity Sherem about their grant to Sycamore. Thank you. Home making you sick. Moisture and unsafe air from your crawl space can infiltrate your home, causing health hazards and high utility bills. Ox Foundation Solutions can remedy any mold or mildew problem in your home. It's time to get strong. How strong? Ox strong. Get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Silicaga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Silicaga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Marble City Pharmacy in Silicaga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Spring is in the air, and that means huge savings during the big tent sale going on now at Sarah Automotive in Sylacauga. Our best deals of the year are here. Plus, Sarah is doubling your tax refund up to $4,500 on new Fords, Nissans, and Hondas. Financing rates as low as 0% APR for up to 84 months, plus no payment for 90 days. And don't forget to register for Sarah's car giveaway on March the 20th. You don't want to miss this huge tent sale going on now at Tony Sarah Ford, Sarah Nissan, and Sarah Honda on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Hello, welcome back to Library Connection. I um, am going to be talking now with Chastity Sherum from Sycamore Elementary, isn't that correct? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Well, she's here to talk about some of the grants they, um, they received. So tell, tell us about yourself first, Chastity. Um, my name is Chastity Sherum. I teach fourth grade at Sycamore Elementary. Um, uh, this is my second year teaching fourth grade. Okay. But you, you've taught before, before that. How, how many yes. years have you been at Sycamore? Um, I've been at Sycamore for seven years, and 10 of those years I taught, 10 of my entire years I yeah. taught kindergarten. Okay. So, well, quite a change to fourth grade, huh? Yeah, it was a big jump, but I love it. That's it's, great. It's different, and um, mm -hmm. it's a totally different standards, uh -huh. and uh, the kids are, you know, you're going from teaching uh, five-year-olds to nine and ten-year-olds. Yeah, so that's great. Well, that's wonderful. Well, I know we're going to have to talk fast. We don't have okay. a lot of time, but y'all have the grant. One of the grants from the Arts Council, uh, drumming up character. Or let's hear, let's hear the drums. Is that your grant? Yeah, it's. Um, mm -hmm. We use the money for dancing drums, which right. is an interactive program mm -hmm. um, where students learn about showing respect for others. Oh, so nice. they're learning about character ed but mm -hmm. they're also teaching them different rhythms as oh. it goes and they are using things like pencils and things on the desk and it's set to um, educational songs this oh. one this year was about respect we actually did it a couple weeks ago oh good, good. so um, the kids love it and you know they get so creative with it so mm -hmm. they're they get their little boxes out and they have uh -huh. their pencils drumming and they figure out how oh. to make different sounds on their desk and the floor and they're stomping and clapping. Uh -huh. I think we've got some slides from uh, from your school. There they are, yes. Yeah, yeah oh. you can see them there. They um, they were very involved in it. It was mm -hmm. really loud and they're like, Ms. Sherum, can we get this loud in the room? And I'm like, yeah. yes, by all means, be as loud as you oh. want to. Um, oh. By the end of it, I was amazed oh. at the difference in their uh, rhythm and the, how they were able to keep beat. Uh -huh. So um, they were begging for more. So we're actually trying to figure out how we can incorporate this more um, every month how versus fun. just the one time. There, there. Now, I think was it on, an on, online type program? It uh, had virtual? to be. It had to be virtual this mm -hmm. year. You know, we've written the grant grant right. in the past, and mm -hmm. they actually came to the school, okay. and the whole school was involved, and they sat in a circle, mm -hmm. and they. They all interacted K through four. Uh -huh. um, this year it was virtual, but all the classes were still involved in it. 
Um, we had big screens in our room, so we had it pulled up. Um, they just had, really had a good time. Um, you can see right there they're clapping, and mm -hmm. we've got it pulled up on the big screen. They've also got it pulled up on their Chromebooks with okay. headphones in. How fun. And I like that you can learn a lot more than just drumming and rhythm. You said a lot of character education. Yeah, the character ed is a big thing for mm -hmm. us, and especially with all the COVID restrictions this yes. year, you know, um, they were out of school for a long time, so it just yes. gives them a little boost as far as the character ed goes. So yeah, it incorporated more than one thing. That is awesome. Did, did you write the grant? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Um, I wrote the grant. Um, like I said, we wrote the same grant in the past for the yeah. dance and drums, but it was just such a good experience. We wanted the kids to have that experience again. I think it's all right to do it again. If it worked the first time, it'll work the next it time. It did, and it's been a couple of years. I think we wrote uh -huh. one in um, between that for art supplies for our STEAM right. lab. Yeah. So yeah. and so we fully stocked the STEAM lab with tons of art supplies through the grant. So this is just something we felt was a need this year. Oh, that's great. I'm excited. And you said the kids enjoyed it. Do you think you see any future musicians and drummers and things like that? I was amazed at their ability to keep up with those beats. I was watching oh. them. Um, and like I said, they were, we started out with just our desk and our hands. Yeah. And uh -huh. then the more the program went on, they were starting to get different things that made different sounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that, that's innovative there. So yeah. um, pretty cool. They knew that they were making different sounds with the hands mm -hmm. than when they were using the pencils. Wow. So um, yeah, definitely see some musicians in our future. Oh, good. And so. that's, this is a type program I don't think a lot of kids would be exposed to, maybe un until they get older and get into band, if, if they choose to do that. Right. Right, and in, at Sycamore, our band starts in the fifth grade. Okay. And I teach fourth. Yeah. So it did, I did have a couple say, hey, I want to do drums and band. Uh, so definitely leads into that high school experience with the band and um, maybe something they didn't know they were interested in before that. Wow, that is neat. Yeah. And, and, and including the character ed in there, I think is great. If you can have something fun like drumming and then throw the other in there, that's great. Yeah, that's it, it was a good experience. Yeah. Both years. Oh, great. Yeah, that's good. Where, where is this, where, where are they from, the people that do the drumming? Uh, um, they're from, they're out of state. Okay. Um, because they travel. I think it, okay. I can't that's remember okay. exactly Cl what state it is. Cl close enough to drive in because you said they came in. Yeah, they, they come in. in yeah, they um, travel all over the world. Okay. So just wow. whatever school they fly in. So it's usually oh, a couple wow. of people um, right. that come and they bring different ex um, instruments and things. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they travel a long way, so. Well, that is exciting, that's neat. And you said, I know in the past you've written it, because I remember, I guess, when we first started doing the grants, you wrote it for, for things just as simple as crayons and, and paper and paint and things like that, that, because um, do y'all have an art teacher? We do not. Do We're not, such so. a small school. Right. Um, we don't have an art teacher. We don't have a music teacher in the elementary. Right. So things like this are few and far between. So. Yeah. We take advantage of it, and yeah, that one year we stocked all that, the crayons, the paint, yeah. the paint brushes. I mean, right. just, and you know, we still have a lot of that stuff, and it's right. still used. We have classes, yeah. and the teachers, the teachers have their own art activities in their classroom. Right. Um, so yeah, I see that being something we do in the future again, too, so. That it, is it, well, I was amazed. It was a buggy full of <laughs> art supplies. I mean, it just was tons of art supplies for the money that the, Arts Not Council was able to give us for that. Well, that is awesome. I know your kids enjoyed that so much, and y'all enjoyed it as 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 teachers too. Oh, I we think. love watching them do things like that, and we get bogged down with academics a lot. So to yes. have that interactive um, arts in any form. Yeah is wonderful. That is great. Well, that is awesome. Well, if you'd like to help with programs like this, I'd encourage you to go online and join the Silicaga Arts Council so you can help with things like Let's Hear the Drums, Drumming Up Character. So, yeah. Thank you so much for being here today. I know Thank all you. your kids came back today, so we're going to have to did. let you go. I'm excited to see them all in one classroom. I know. That's so. exciting. So we're going to have to let you get back. We're going to pause for a commercial break, and we'll be right back to talk some more. Home making you sick. Moisture and unsafe air from your crawl space can infiltrate your home, causing health hazards and high utility bills. Ox Foundation Solutions can remedy any mold or mildew problem in your home. It's time to get strong. How strong? Ox strong. Get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. 
Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Spring is in the air, and that means huge saving during the big tent sale going on now at Sarah Automotive in Sylacauga. Our best deals of the year are here. Plus, Sarah is doubling your tax refund up to $4,500 on new Fords, Nissans, and Hondas. Financing rates as low as 0% APR for up to 84 months, plus no payment for 90 days. And don't forget to register for Sarah's car giveaway on March the 20th. You don't want to miss this huge tent sale going on now at Tony Sarah Ford, Sarah Nissan, and Sarah Honda on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Hello, welcome back to Library Connection. Joining me now is Jacqueline Rivers from Pinecrest Elementary. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. I know you ladies have had to take out uh, time from school, so thank your principal <laughs> for that. Uh, you're at Pinecrest Elementary, yes, right? I am. Tell tell them ab about yourself. Okay, my name is Jacqueline Rivers. I am from Pinecrest Elementary. I'm the Library Media Specialist there. Um, this is my 17th year of teaching, and I've been in Sylacauga the entire time. So. Right. And you're a hometown girl too. I am. Right? I graduated from Sylacauga as well. And my oh. children are in school here and my husband is the principal at Nichols Olson. So. Oh, yeah. You are fully immersed in the school. Fully system. immersed, yes ma'am. <laughs> that is great. Well let's tell about your okay. um, your grant was for a Pinecrest quilt. Is yes. that right? What, yes. what is that? What's the quilt? Okay. So um, a couple years ago Kevin Whitman and I were discussing how we could yeah. write the grant and he suggested to study about Jeeves Bend, Alabama. Yeah and the history about that. So mm -hmm. we, um, in the library, I would teach the students about the history of Jews Bend, Alabama, mm -hmm. and then through the art program, we would create a quilt. So each oh, of the students cool. had a canvas, um, a canvas square, and yes, Kevin Whitman showed us how to draw it out, and the students would color it in, and then we put them all together by class and hung the quilts around the school. Um, at the end of the school year, they got to take their own quilt quilt square back with them yes. so they have have a keepsake of it so how fun and how fun to see your own work yes. up everywhere in yes. a real quilt right yeah so the kids were really excited about it they some of them tried to figure out where their quilt square was you know as they oh, were walking okay. around the school so it was really neat to how see fun and G's Bend I know I learned more about G's Bend during the bi bicentennial yes uh, it is just a very yes neat place. It is. The, the ladies that go ahead. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, so our fourth grade students study Alabama history. That's uh -huh. part of their curriculum. And yeah. so we include the fourth grade students in this. So it yeah. ties in the Alabama history along with the artwork that they, they are able to create. That's why. You should you should get a book on G's yes. Band. We have, I have one. several. <laughs> but yeah, no, how fun to learn about something right here yes. in our state. Yes. And then using uh, David Whit Whitman from yes. here in Silicon. Yes, That's David. <laughs> he's an amazing, um, a talented artist. Um, yeah. Last year he was able to come into the school uh -huh. and do it with us. This year he's going to record a video for us and show oh, the students okay. how to do it. And then through our art teacher, we're going to be able to let her help the students make the actual quilt but watch the video of him showing them how to do it so oh, how it'll fun. be neat to do it that way as well it will be it's what we got to do for right. sure right that's now, right but that's okay uh, yes. did 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 you write the grant I did yes ma'am oh, okay. um, I've written pretty much most of them that we've done throughout the years but wow. um, I always ask the teachers if for any suggestions or ideas and then this one was one that Kevin and I came up together with to do so that is great so maybe you'll keep, if you keep doing this, yes. I know things change, we'll oh, see. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. In the past, we um, have also brought in different music groups. Um, okay. Colleges have come in to do mm -hmm. um, musicals and drama experiences for us. So I think the students, <clears throat> excuse me, enjoy the, video, the musical groups, but I think they enjoy the hands-on, them creating something mm -hmm. that they can take home with them at the end of the day. That it's is really neat. neat. That is neat. Yes, I love the hands-on, but I do enjoy the, the mu musical yeah. programs because a mm -hmm. lot of children don't have a chance to go mm -hmm. and see 
a live performance, if right. it's theater or music. Right. So uh, that's that's a lot of fun yes, too. It is. A little bit of all of that. That's right. Uh, yes. uh, now this is done for fourth grade. You said yes, what you're doing. This is done for fourth grade. Okay. Um, in the past, it's been for the whole school, like the the musical groups right. that come in. Yeah. But we're focusing this year and last year on fourth grade, since it ties in uh -huh. with the um, Alabama history in their curriculum. Wow. So. That's great. Uh, have, have the students enjoyed it? Have you heard any comments from them? Um, last year, we haven't done it yet. We're going to oh, do okay. we're going to do this one in May, so they okay. have a little bit of time to work on that. Mm -hmm. But um, in the past, they the students really enjoyed it. They really enjoyed the the creativity part of it, being able to design something yeah. that that is different. You know, it's not um, uh -huh. it's not normal for them to be able to create something like that. And a lot of them have grandmothers or family members that make quilts oh. so they are able to put that connection together as well. So. That's wonderful to go back and talk with your grandmother yes. about mm -hmm. this. How mm -hmm. I know I have some quilts from my do too. grandmothers. Yes. Oh, so special. They're treasures, How yes. They? Now you have an example of what do. they're doing. Yes, right? this is actually one that um, I was got some green. Oh, it's got some green in it. It's I got some in it. That's okay. Yeah. Um, yes, this is one of the squares that okay. um, we had from this as an example, but um, they are able to take those home with them at the end of the year and um, have a keepsake oh, to remember wow. the experience. Wow. And learning really how to do it. I mean, I, I can look at that and think, oh, you just color it. But I know there's a lot more to right. it. Right, there is. That. There's a lot more to it. Um, and it has the geometry aspect of it with the, the, okay. the shapes and designs with yeah. it. So Kevin did a really good job of explaining how it was designed and why yeah. it was designed that way. So that it's really awesome. neat to experience that. Well, you might have some budding artists. I know, there. I know. They, they enjoy it. So it's, it's fun to watch their faces light up as they share yeah. their experience with it. Wow. So. And learning what what a real artist has to, right. has to go through. Right, yes, well, absolutely. That is fun, that is fun. Um, so I, so I, I'm trying to think, if we've talked about everything, yeah. we've talked about how they've been, I know they enjoyed it. Yes, uh, and it's not, since you do have an art art teacher and a um, music teacher. We have, we have a, yes, no, we have someone in our art room this yeah. year. Um, they are, um, our art program has changed throughout the years. Okay. So we yeah. are working on, um, with someone in there now. Great. So she's gonna have that experience to help um, help the students create it. We, we want to be able to let them stay as distance as possible. Yeah. So we oh, have yes. to um, maintain that. But um, she will be able to help help with it through the video with Kevin Whitman showing yeah. them. So. Well, y'all have done a wonderful job. I know it's been hard during COVID with the social distance and yeah. everything. It's but, been a challenge. Um, what We've a, done well. You have done well. I know. <laughs> Great. Well, I would encourage all of you still, if you would like to be a member of the Arts Council and help provide money for programs like this, it's very simple. Just go to the website and join. No meetings or anything to attend. Uh, I'd encourage you to join uh, to provide wonderful programs like this. Well, we are out of time, but thank you so much for being here. Well, I thank you. you and Chastity and Teresa, and um, I do encourage you to go look up some of the things the Arts Council are doing. We have a face Facebook page also. You can see some of the activities the kids are doing at the schools. So please do that, and thank you so much for joining me on Library Connection today.